Hey, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today we are getting into the details with our hiker series and today's video is going to be about the Highway Deluxe. This is the entry model, but of course they offer tons of modifications and customizations on this trailer. Now we're with our expert Robbie from Hiker Trailer. I'm really excited about this one. Let's get to it. So Robbie, this is a great looking trailer. You wanna tell you. us about this Highway Deluxe? Yeah, so the Highway Deluxe is kind of, like you said, our entry level model. This is gonna give you about seven inches of ground clearance. This is gonna be, you know, your campsites, your highway travel. You know, this will do really good on open fields, very smooth dirt and gravel roads, that sort of thing, as far as where you can take it. Down here, we have a 2,200 pound straight axle with traditional leaf springs. So, you know, very easy to maintain, um, but still very versatile for what it is. Um, this is a 10 foot model, so it's kind of the top of the line, so to speak, of the Highway Deluxe variant. Um, but an eight foot version of this, you're starting at $59.95. So you can get this in an eight, nine, or a 10 foot. That's correct. So there is a lot of options just to pick what you're getting started Absolutely. with. And that measurement is from the front of the box to the rear of the box. Okay, so, so overall, that's cabin size. That's the yep, cabin size. Of course. Correct. Now, that's how we vary. That number you said for the entry level mm -hmm. on the eight footer? Yes. That's $59.95. $59.95. The and it's about $1,000 to go up to the next foot size. Correct. Right? It's $1,000 for an extra foot. So this one starts at $79.95. And this one has a couple of different add ons on it. So this one will probably end up around twelve dollars or $13,000 as it's kitted out here right now. Yeah. Um, but for an entry level kind of teardrop camper, that's a good starting price in the market. It's an excellent starting price and we'll get into the details later, but I wanna be so clear about this that you're offering like big camper industry prices, but this is like high quality craftsman build. You're gonna see that on the fit and finish, but what you can't see, and I hope to show people today, is what's on the inside. Right. They're not hiding any secrets here. These are really, really well-made campers. Yeah, we, besides customization and the affordability of our campers, our quality and our, our construction methods are one of those things that is a tenant of what Hiker Trailer is and that, you know, we're very proud of our fit and finish, like you said, the quality and just, how we do business because we think it's the, the right way to do things, so. So what type of person or family or whatever would you imagine, what type of camping is something like this good for? So for the highway model, we get a lot of folks that are very weight conscious. So your smaller SUVs, your, you know, crossovers, Subarus, I mean, people have picked these up in Toyota Priuses before, minivans. What's the, let's just use the eight foot model. Sure. What's the overall weight? So the average weight, because of all the different customizations, we yeah. like to speak in averages. This is smart. This is a, about 1,000 to 1,100 pounds for an eight foot model. So obviously the base model would weigh less than Correct. that. Correct. But we you're not as low pretending as a, that it's lighter than we it We rarely is. sell a base model because <laughs> yeah. people always want to add a couple things here and there. But you're talking probably 800 pounds yeah, if you and did just the base you know, unit. Your Subarus, your four cylinders, the Toyota Prius has a 2,000 pound towing weight. Right. So always good to be way underneath Correct. that. You don't want to push the envelope there, but you're talking about a 1,000 pound trailer. Right. So uh, tongue weight? Tongue weight will always be around 10% of that. This one here, since it's a 10 foot and has a toolbox, I mean, <laughs> you're probably at about 100 pounds at the most, I would have to say. And that's with, yeah, with the tongue box. I couldn't Correct. even imagine that without the tongue box. So uh, real excited to keep talking about this trailer. And this isn't the only one in the factory. We're gonna get to see a bunch. <laughs> So looking around the factory and looking at a lot of the different galleys, they're all pretty basic. Now this one looks like it has a couple upgrades in here. Correct, the, the Formica surface is an upgrade, the slide out tray is an upgrade, but other than that, it's a pretty standard galley. Um, we do two different galley depths as an option. This is the standard 17 inches, but on a nine or a 10 foot model, you can also increase that up to 24 for extra rear storage. This makes a lot of sense. So if you're thinking of the average length of a bed, mm -hmm. when you go with a longer trailer, we're talking about the cabins. That Correct. doesn't include the tongue box. So you can fit your bed and have some additional storage right. and depth to Right, this. you'd still have a full eight feet of cabin space on a 10 foot model with a 24 inch galley. 
Now, that's pretty impressive. Now, I've even seen some of the 10-footers you're offering with bunk beds yeah. and, like, space at your feet for kids or, you know, I have a big dog yep. that might want to go we in can, there. We can easily <laughs> sleep more than two people. That's one of those kind of, um, you know, reputations that people see a small camper and they're always like, oh, well, I've got a family of four or I've got, you know, two grandkids and uh, me and the wife that I can't take. Yeah. It's definitely not true. We can kind of show you a couple ways that we get around that stigma and kind of cheat it, so to speak, with different galley options I and the it. rooftop tents. I love it. Now, uh, I hope to have some shots to put in here of some of the other galleys on these trailers. Absolutely. And we're going to revisit. The galleys, uh, you can get almost the same galley on each year model. Yeah. So, so we're going to revisit this in other videos. But the general theme is that you have a battery back here with the charger mm -hmm. on this one. You could also put that on the front of the trailer if the customer wants. Absolutely. And this is kind of like a DIY adventure here. Right. You're going to add the, the stuff that you want. You can add a water jug. Right. You can add a cooler. One um, of our mantras is keep it simple because they make a bunch more different totes and storage compartments than I can make cabinets and drawers and as a customer, if I Carpentry. want these at different levels, uh, this is something I could customize? We can adjust the heights of those by special request. Um, the only thing that that could do is it would start to interact or interfere with other features. Of course, but so you work with customers We work way. with customers to build that out and make sure they're aware of anything that what if does I, work or doesn't work with itself. What if I wanted the cooler or fridge on a slider? Do you provide a slider back here? We've done them in the past. The problem with that is the fridges nowadays have gotten so large <laughs> that it starts to eat into more of the cabin space than most people are comfortable with. Yep. So that's when we do the fridge boxes on the tongue to relocate it up front so that it's a little bit better and a little bit easier to store those. I love it, I love it. So, uh, you know, this is uh, my first look at one of these hiker galleys. Um, I haven't had a close look before, but what I'm noticing is that it's the swing open door and right. not the, what I call like the DeLorean lift. Yeah, you know, the yeah lift absolutely. Style. We always do the side open doors, um, mostly because a lot of people will get the 270 awnings. And if you were to do a top opening door, it's going to interfere with those awnings. So I'm looking at, you know, the height of this trailer being real. And this is going to fit in a garage. Absolutely. It's going to fit in the garage with the roof rack. Yes, and um, even a rooftop tent. And a rooftop tent or some cargo. So if I wanted to get one of those inexpensive 10 by 10 awnings, or yeah. canopies rather, yeah. that pop up, I could store this on the roof rack, mm -hmm. and this would cover this whole space, and we would yeah. be able to use this yeah, in the very, weather. Very customizable, very user-friendly. I mean, you know, whatever situation you find yourself in, you can kind of adapt a hiker to fit that situation. I'm seeing the same thing. And uh, living out of a teardrop galley for as much as I have, I know just the ability to put one of those nice tables that collapse yeah. and open this up into a space. You take out your cooktop, you take out a little collapsible basin right. to do some dishes. This is all most people are going to find out they need eventually. Right. Uh, another reason we don't like to do the installed kitchens is because if you are on an adventure or out on a trip and you want to go somewhere and have lunch, you don't have to pack up your entire campsite to take your trailer with you. Just throw your stove, your fridge, whatever in the back of your tow vehicle, go on your day trip and then come back to your base camp and you're already set up and good to go. Looking good to me. Well, uh, I'm excited to see some of the interior options on yeah, this. Yes, absolutely. So moving on to some of the cabin options, as you can see, the uh, customers on this trailer added that shelf in the front. So that front shelf is a really popular upgrade right now, give you some extra storage, but still have enough headroom or leg room, depending on which side you put your head in yeah. to be able to sleep. We do the USB and the two cubbies up front as standard on all models. That way you always have a 12 volt option and some basic storage. And then they've upgraded to the window doors, two doors on this one. And we have, of course, the max fan in the ceiling running everything again. So I've been in a lot of tiny campers, mm -hmm. and this has a really, really nice feel. I won't call them out by brand, but this has the feel of some of the very, very high-end campers. Thank you. We appreciate this that. This is Baltic birch? That's correct. Three-quarter inch white birch. Yeah. Um, uh, it's very easy for people to pick up matching plywood if they want to do their own cabinetry or their own woodworking sure. accessories. And now I see you're using a CNC machine to cut your cubbies. We got cubbies on both sides. You have passed through to the galley. Everything is, is sealed up and caulked. We know we have the insulated roof, yep. three-quarter inch walls. Um, 
This is a nine foot version and it's a good size. I can sit up here. I'm a big guy. Yep. I'd be able to spend some time in here. They're, they're, <laughs> that's another benefit to the square shape is on the inside, they're bigger than they seem. Yep. because you do have more headroom. It just feels more spacious, just not quite as claustrophobic. That, you nailed it. I wasn't even thinking that. That's that's what it is, is the square drop appearance versus, um, yep. you know, and I, I love a teardrop. I'm not going to knock a teardrop, yep. but yeah, it does look bigger. Yeah, and we use, bigger. talking about the plywood and stuff again, we use pretty basic materials. You know, it's a very warm, outdoor-feeling trailer. You know, some of the fancy fiberglass and composite materials that people use, it feels very medical or very, you know, space age and doesn't quite fit with the great outdoors or the middle of nowhere if yeah, you're taking these out there. And a lot of times you end up having to put carpet on them and stuff because right. they do sweat and they echo out real bad. Right. But the, I mean, something for everybody. And Absolutely. That's, that's what's best. So I can tell these two windows, they're big, they're letting a ton of light in. That's standard. But the two doors was an add-on. Yep. And the window doors... So right. there have, is a lot of glass on this one that somebody's, somebody who's going to watch this video sees I'm sitting in their camper right now. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Good yeah, choices. We, we always tell people that, you know, do tend to be, oh, I'm too claustrophobic. It's too small for me. If you upgrade to the window doors, there's so much light in there. Like the two side windows are 20 by 30 inches and the window doors are just a little bit smaller than that, so. They open, they fully function. Yep, fully um, open, both are screened. Insect screens. Yep, everything. And it looks like you're using a pretty good Noceum screen. It's not, yeah, it's I not mean, over. Yeah, they're, they're decent quality windows, and like you said, they come standard with every option, or with every model, excuse me. So I, I know we've said this before, but uh, first thing you would do as a customer is pick out the mattress for you. Absolutely. Now, if somebody's a complete novice, I'm sure you have a couple we things have, that you could pass along. Yeah, we have our kind of cheat list of what most perfect. people recommend or what people say are the best. And, um, you know, we, we use these campers ourselves, so we've tried out several of them, but there's thousands of options to choose from. Now, as far as inside modifications, um, with these cheaper campers, a lot of times we're working around with stick-on command hooks and stuff like that. Correct. I could use half-inch screws on anything yeah. in here. Yeah, we, you know, we recommend if you're bolting on something heavy to use some sort of a through bolt. Right. But half-inch wood screws. For, for heavy things. Absolutely. Yeah, for, I'm looking like Curtains. if I wanted to put a little thing to hang my right. shirt or something, this yeah. couldn't be easier. Yeah. Maybe even mount a TV on the galley wall. Yeah. I know, not for me, a lot of people, it's yeah. one of their TV, first TV, iPad holders, yeah. all kinds of different things people add to these. I love it. So obviously something that's appealing to a lot of people that get tiny campers is the variety of tow vehicles that we can uh, pull them with. Correct. Now we talked about the weight of the trailer, the balance, including with the tongue weight. You could tow this with almost any tow vehicle on the road. That's very true. And you know, because there are a lot of people that are super weight conscious with the smaller tow vehicles, yep. um, we even offer brakes as an option, which is why this highway has a seven pin connector. Usually a highway would come with just a standard four right. because you don't need the seven pin when you have brakes, but adding brakes, you need those extra channels. And anytime we add brakes, we also add the breakaway kit. That way, if you do come unhitched, your trailer should come to a so safer stop. So this style. highway comes with a Dexter straight axle with Correct. leaf springs. Mm -hmm. So it's going to have the Dexter magnetic brakes. Yes. So the breakaway is if for some reason this came detached, it will decelerate your trailer and yes. your tow chains take over. Yes. But this will actually have either you could go with a Kurt wireless one right. or get a hardwired yep. brake controller Kurt, in Red Arc, car. I mean, there's so many people yep. that make vehicle side brake controllers. Yep. Um, anytime you do have trailer brakes, if your vehicle isn't smart enough and has one built in, like some of the fancy Fords or right. other Toyota Tacomas, that sort of thing, yep. you're going to want an aftermarket one. Sure. Um, and, you know, we've got our recommendations as far as what people should get or what to stay away from. At least we find people have issues with certain brands, and I won't say anything here, but yeah. call us if you're concerned. We can let you know and, and point you That's in the right direction. That's the type of service I think a lot of newcomers are definitely going to want to have right. some suggestions. I know it's a place where people get some anxiety. You can pull this with a very small car, but you start heading to the passes in Colorado, and you don't want to feel like it's pushing your right. car down the hill. And it's a good thing you bring that up. Anytime you do get into mountainous terrain, you have to start subtracting away from your total to uh, vehicle's towing rating. So we always recommend um, for our customers, there's 
unfortunately about six states that require brakes based on the weight of our trailers. Yep. So in those states it would be required. And then it depends on your tow vehicle. If you start to approach that limit, that's when we're going to say, hey, you probably should start thinking about brakes just as a safety precaution. So this is a good conservative approach. Um, the joy here is the variety of vehicles that can tow this highway deluxe. The reservations that we know from experience is that some people get concerned about some stuff. So we have a great point of contact with Hiker Trail that will set you up um, really with no matter what type of tow rated vehicle you bring yes, in. Yes, and I mean, we make it as simple as if you're, if you don't want to get any vehicle, vehicle modifications and you don't know anything about towing and you've never towed before, we offer what's called an auto brake. So sure. it's actually the trailer side yep. brake controller. So we can wire everything into one. And then basically you just got to make sure you have a seven pin connector, a two inch ball, and you're good to go. So I had a lot of fun taking this tour. Um, anything in closing that you want to share with the people that watch this? Um, you know, just again, thanks for visiting and, and really kind of getting into the hiker and the, the highway deluxe. Um, you know, if people are interested, you can order a hiker trailer on our website, hikertrailers.com. Uh, if you were to order a custom build with us today, it's you get one in three months or less. So we have some very industry low lead times. You have some models that people can pick up too. I've Absolutely. Seen. Every month we build a couple of stock units, but taking a stab at the hundreds of options that somebody might just happen <laughs> to want is a little tricky. So we, we do build them a little bit on the more basic side so people can still upgrade them as stock. If I live a ways away, I live in New York, they can, there's an option to have these delivered. You don't have to make it all the way to Indy or to Colorado at our other uh, showroom location to pick up a trailer. You can get them shipped directly to your front door or your driveway. Um, it costs a little bit of money to do that right now because of gas prices, but um, they can even meet you halfway if you wanted to do a halfway road trip. Well, I appreciate this. Thank you for working with us today. You're very welcome. Um, guys, check out this series. If you're interested in this, we're gonna do videos on all these different models. And I'm interested in just seeing the accessories that these guys are doing. So uh, stay tuned and I'll see you next time.